today we are going to see 8 by, 8 by 1 marks using 2 by 1 marks. That means again max tree. That means designing higher order multiplexer using lower order multiplexer. Okay. Last class we have seen 4 by 1 max using 2 by 1. Today 8 by 1 max using 2 by 1. For that <coughs> this is the truth table for the multiplexer of 8 by 1. 8 by 1 means as already you know 8 inputs are there, 1 output will be there. And output will be one of the input. That means we are selecting any one of the input as output using select lines. Okay. These are all the eight possibilities of the select line. And we are selecting one of the input as an output. That is the concept of the multiplexer. Now 8 by 1 max already you know. I think no need to do this again. But I will draw again. Okay. This is 8 by 1 max. Okay, this is I0 and I1, I2, I3, I4, I5, I6, I7. This is I7 and this is your output and select lines are S0, S1, S2. Okay, see the order S0, S1, S2. We are going to construct this 8 by 1 but using 2 by 1. The functioning of 8 by 1 using 2 by 1 that is max tree. Okay, higher order designing using lower order. <coughs> now, how to design this? 8 inputs are there. Here, 2 inputs are there. Therefore, we require basically 4 first. Okay, after that, we have to give the output to the input. After that, output to the input. Okay, for this first reason, this is 1, 2 by 1, another 2 by 1, another 2 by 1, and another 2 by 1. Okay, because each 2 by 1, each 2 by 1 max has 2 input. Okay, here this is I0, I1, first 2 inputs. And this is I2, I3, second 2 by 1 max. And here I4, I5, another 2 by 1. And here I6, I7. Okay. Now all the 4 will generate 4 output. Okay. Out of here this will generate I0 or I1. Depends upon the select line here. And this will generate I2 or I3, I4, I5, I6 or I7. Now out of 4 we have to select, okay, therefore we require here 1, 2 by 1 because we have to give these 2, okay, and here we require 1 more, 2 by 1, okay, this output is going here and this output is going here. Now, this will generate one output, this will generate one output. Therefore, this will be given to another 2 by 1 max. Okay. Another 2 by 1 max. See, 8 inputs are given to the <coughs> lower order. Okay. 2 by 1 max. After that, this also lower order. Order means it's a 2 by 1 only. But we are, I am saying this order to this order. Okay. And this also 2 by 1, these outputs are given to here and these outputs are given here. This is your final output. This is your final output. That means I0 to I7 inputs are here. And these are all, <coughs> this is the final output. These are all intermediate outputs. Okay. This is the final output. This output and this outputs are intermediate output. Now, how to give the select line? How to give the select line? I told you from lower order to higher order we are moving. That means here this select line is S0, this is also S0, this is also S0 and this is also S0 and this one and this one or S1 and this is S2. Okay. Here this is S0, S1, S2. Okay. Here this is the lower list significant bit. This is next list 
and here this is the most significant bit therefore least significant bit we have to start and then we have to go to most significant bit now let us check how this works now if you give 0 here 0 here 0 here 0 here if all 0 okay that means once first input first select line is 0 that means here the first one is selected i0 is selected here i2 selected i4 selected i6 selected okay that means here i0 here i2 here i4 here i6 are selected now here also 0 i am giving here also 0 giving that means out of this i0 i2 here i0 will come here i0 will come here out of i4 and i6 here i4 will come here i4 okay now if you give 0 here if you give 0 here here 0 okay understand all the input all the select lines are 0 therefore here the first one here the first one here the first one therefore your i0 will be the output your i0 will be the output here okay now let us check for some more select lines value okay it's a simple concept okay simply you have to understand how the inputs are going as a output okay now if you give s0 equal to 1 s0 equal to 1 s0 equal to 1 means the second will be selected okay i1 will be selected here therefore your i1 will be here and here the second one that means for this multiplexer i1 for this multiplexer i3 okay and for this i5 and for this i7 okay now here two inputs are going as a input i1 and i3 and if you give depends upon the value here depends upon the value here okay for example i am giving one here i am giving one here therefore the second input will be selected as output therefore here i3 will be there okay and here also s11 therefore here also i7 will be selected i7 will be selected now depends upon s2 depends upon s2 if it is 0 or 1 okay if it is 0 i3 will be selected if it is 0 i3 will be selected see 1 1 here okay s0 1 s1 1 s0 1 and s1 1 therefore i3 is there okay and here also 1 1 i7 is there is it <coughs> here 1 1 here 1 1 therefore i3 as one input and i7 as a one input for this multiplexer now among these two it is our decision to select which one if you give zero if you give zero then i3 will come as a output okay if you give zero that means one one s2 zero s2 zero okay then i2 that means among these two this is the first one i3 will come as a output if you give one if you give one here then one that means one one is already there and this one therefore i7 will be the output okay now <clears throat> s0 s1 s2 depends upon the select lines we can select any of these input as a output okay here we used all or 2 by 1 max only but how many required 7 are required 1 2 3 4 and this one and this one therefore in total 7 multiplexer 2 by 1 multiplexer required to design 8 by 1 multiplexer okay next class we are going to see 4 by 1 max we are going to use 4 by 1 max okay and designing 8 by 1 max we are going to design 8 by 1 max by 4 by 1 max that is most important let us see next class thank you